Hello, I'm Christoph Conrad. In this video, we'll see how to call an Apex method from a Lightning Web component to retrieve data. And specifically, we will see how to wire an Apex method to a Lightning Web component property. We'll use this recipe that lets me search for contacts in that search bar. And behind the scenes, this is powered by an Apex method. Let's take a look at the code. and we start in the Apex controller here. So as you can see, I have a find contacts method that has a search key parameter, and the implementation is a simple SQL statement. Also notice that we annotated the method with cacheable equals true, and I will tell you more about that in a moment. But how do you call that method from a Lightning Web component? Let's find out. So all you have to do is to import the Apex method as a JavaScript module. And then you can use the at wire decorator to wire the method to a property, in this case, contact. What that means is that when the method is invoked, the result is automatically assigned to that contacts property. The method parameter search key here is reactive which means that when its value changes, the method is automatically reinvoked. There is one more thing that I wanted to show you about that recipe. And for that, let's go back to the browser. And I'll bring up the Chrome DevTools here on the Network tab because we're going to look at performance. So let's say that I want to look for contacts named Jones. So we're going to click Search. I see the results here, and you see at the bottom that it took 147 milliseconds for that request. Let's clear this, and now look for contacts named Taylor. Click search. Here is the result, and in this case, it took 123 milliseconds, pretty consistent. Let's clear that. and go back to looking for contacts named Jones and click search. And notice that I get the response, but at the bottom there is nothing. That means that there was no request made to the server, and that is because in this case the response was served from the cache because we had already looked for contacts named Jones before. That's what the cacheable equals true annotation on the Apex method was all about, and that's one of the many things that we do to deliver awesome performance in Lightning Web Components. To summarize, you can import Apex methods using the ECMAScript module syntax. You can wire Apex methods to properties. You could also wire Apex methods to functions, but that's going to be for another video. And you can annotate an Apex method with at aura enabled cacheable equals true to automatically implement client-side caching. You can learn more about Lightning Web Components by completing this trail mix. Thank you for watching.